Hey, what's up? Bradley here with a brand new thing we're doing around these parts called Bradley's Holiday Gift Guide or Christmas Gift Guide. I don't really give a shit. You know, usually you guys give Santa the list. This time I'm giving you the list. So yeah, everybody who watches this, here's a gift that you don't have to worry about that last minute Christmas shopping because I'm telling you exactly what to get for the headbanger or banger for short on your list. So first up, we've got Here Lies Necrophagia, 35 years of death metal out now on Season of Mist. You know, 35 years kind of feels like a weird number to celebrate until you consider the fact that the band's vocalist, Killjoy, died last year. So this is as good a time of any to celebrate his life of death. Bracket, bracket, metal. Bracket, metal, bracket. I got it. Since we're celebrating him, we need to celebrate the fact that his vocals are absolutely feral. You know how black metal came out of like a rebellion against the fact that death metal was like becoming too clean? This is absolutely not that. This is, you know, more like the early days of death metal. These guys along with like Possessed and Death kind of helped pioneer the sound. Speaking of, the track listing on this compilation was specially curated by Matt Harvey of Exhumed, Maniac, formerly of Mayhem, Dom Lawson from Metal Hammer, and Scott Carlson of Repulsion and formerly of Death. So, if any of your favorite tracks are not on here, uh, you can take it up with those highly tenured gentlemen. Speaking of, Scott Carlson compilation albums of highly influential proto-genre masterpieces, Relapse just put out a 30th anniversary release of Repulsion's Horrified. This is a grindcore masterpiece that's pretty rough around the edges. This is 30 years since the album was officially released in 89 on Carcass's imprint, Necrosis Records, which gave them the attention that they didn't really get as much when they were still around. You know, this album was originally released as a demo in 86, then tape rated to death amongst those who got it, which unfortunately a lot of people apparently didn't, as Scott Carlson outlined in the excellent Grindcore documentary, Slave to the Grind. By the way, tangent, if they already have this album, you can just buy them that movie because it's fucking sick and was made by my friend, Doug. Scott basically said that they were too metal for the punks, too punk for the metalheads. You know, that's an adage as old as crossover genres go. So you've already seen me wearing the hoodie for this countless times. I got it right here for like prop shit. You know what it is. Uh, in fact, I wore it so much that the fabric became like paper and I picked it up to wear it a while ago and I just put my thumb literally right through it. So if you happen to own the one with horror, pain, core, death, the whole nine yards on the back. One, sell it to me. Two, if you've played your copy to death as much as I played my hoodie to death, uh, you probably need another one. So you can just buy this one now. Speaking of, the track Black Breath is one of the sickest songs. I even interviewed Abbott once and he brought up my hoodie twice and both times he started humming the riff from that song. He was like, Apparently the only reason to do reissues is anniversaries because we've got some more coming right up. We've got the Dillinger Escape Plan and their albums Calculating Infinity and Mist Machine celebrating their 20th and 15th anniversaries respectively. Apparently this episode is also about bands that like helped form new genres of music because these guys did exactly that. I remember every damn article from back in the day being like jazz, 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 jazz around like alongside Calculating Infinity because they had some like jazzy passages alongside their like crazy chaos. I also remember reading at least one article where they were just like all the metalheads were blown away that these like short haired dudes just went and just mopped the floor with all of the bands with their crazy technicality. So yeah, Calculating Infinity was a masterclass in chaos well, Miss Machine established them as a progressive band, as in one that could progress beyond that. It did the impossible with new vocalist Greg Pucciato filling the shoes of departed vocalist Dimitri Minakakis. Greg really opened the door for the band to add more melodic elements to their sound, which is all over this album, but specifically on the song on Retrofied. Back in the day, I would have sworn by calculating Infinity as the album, but it's hard to look past Miss Machine as this like, perfect transition piece of what was and what would come. Fun fact, the first album that I ever reviewed for Banger TV was their final album, Dissociation. I sucked shit on camera back then, so don't go watch it, or do, but please keep in mind that it was my first time on camera. But yeah, buy both these albums, they're fucking great. So this next one doesn't come at the anniversary of a specific album because it's a bunch of albums put into one box set, but it does come at the 20 year anniversary of this band initially breaking up. Disembodied is releasing their Transfiguration box set through Good Fight Music. It collects their Diablerie LP, their Heretic LP, and then right in the middle they've got the If God Only Knew The Rest Were Dead and Oxymoron EPs on one LP. It's really impossible to overstate the importance of Disembodied on the current dun dun wee wee metalcore wave. 
from those noises to the weird cryptic poetry spoken creepily in between. It's all Groundhog Day for this Minneapolis band, and it all culminated in a reunion at This Is Hardcore 2017, which I was fortunate enough to be at. The band is still playing shows here and there, and I hope to see them again before they throw in the towel for another time. But, uh, and when you're on the Good Fight site, just pick up the reissue they did of 18 Visions until the ink runs out, because that album is great too. We've got another trilogy. This is the cassette trilogy from Exciter. It's got their first three studio records licensed from Megaforce Records coming out on Shadow Kingdom Records. Uh, yeah, DK basically held me up at knife point and told me that I had to do that. He held me up at knife point because they made switchblades from their classic Feel the Knife EP and uh, yeah, sorry, you can't buy those anymore because they're sold out, but they were really cool and kind of cute. Knives aren't supposed to be cute, but it's cute. <laughs> Look, I'm not, I know not everybody has a turntable or a cassette player, so I've got a few other items here that you can get for those people. I've been on a huge puzzle kick lately. The Miss Machine reissue actually comes with a 64-piece puzzle of the cover, but some bands like Slayer and Judas Priest have been releasing their album covers as 500-piece jigsaws through the company Rocksaw. I recommend Rain and Blood or Seasons in the Abyss because those albums are dope as shit. More weird off-kilter items. Imperial Triumphant recently released a graphic novel companion to their awesome album from last year, Vile Luxury. You already know how I feel about that album because I did that review with that in vain, two of my favorite albums from last year. If not, go watch it. Then you can go buy this so you can like visually understand what's going on in the album. They also made coffee, which is a hilarious merch item because their whole thing is luxury. And if you want luxury, you need money and merchandising is how you make money. So go give them some money because they deserve it for making dope ass music. Speaking of dope ass musics on weird ass formats, we've got Zayo who are releasing reformat and reboot which is a, a remix album of their The Well-Intentioned Virus LP on a variety of formats, chief amongst those in the category of weird, which is on a fucking NES cartridge. Yes, Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge. You put it in that shit, it plays music. I have no idea how that works, but then again, I don't know how the fucking video game works either. And hey, you're watching a banger video. If you really wanna give your banger some banger, Tell them to go over to our store where you can buy pins, patches, shirts, etc. And yeah, so that's Santa signing off. If you want more ideas for the future, I'm actually making a bunch of cool little metal knickknacks. You should follow me on Instagram at Bradseed. We've got all the links in the description so you can go down there and buy these. If you do buy any of them, please tag us on Instagram. I'd love to know that we influence your holiday buying. If you want to send Santa a gift, find the address, bro. I'll take it. All right, thanks. Bye.